Jesus. Ninth and deciding frame. So it's all on this frame then. Judd Trump and Barry Hawkins level at 4-4. Trump led 3-1 at the interval. He's just won the eighth frame. Judd Trump to break. To force this decider, and it's Judd Trump to break. Yes, and both players are getting a really huge reception as they embark on this decider. Great atmosphere in here this afternoon. Real enthusiastic Cardiff crowd enjoying this match. It's been a good one. It's a bit of a slow burner that's got better and better. Well, that was a good pop uh, to screw the cue ball and finish this side of the bolt line. That is a... What? Look at that shot. The hand on the cushion, well, tremendous and difficult. That's why he'll always be a very frightening player to come up against. Because he's unpredictable and he's very dangerous. Already looking at the two reds around the black spot there, just above it, hoping that he could bring them into play and in turn bring the black into play. Four. Just about got a topside angle. Not much of one. Now, is he on the red straight, and does the black go to the right corner? I think no. it might. <laughs> it's important, this. If he, if he could get on the black, that would make a huge difference. And I think so. Ten. Uh, is he straight on this? I think he has a slight angle. That is a perfect. And just flick the red away. Yeah, I agree with what you say, Neil. It's been a bit of a, a slow burner. It's been a bit like a box set. You've got to stick with it. I mean, it's getting good now. 17. And, uh, well, I'm sure nobody's going to leave any time soon. Twenty-three. Uh, those two reds very handily placed. Those two reds couldn't be into a plant there. That's something, not for now, there are a few shots down the way. My guess is that he would like to open the reds up differently. 24. Plant does not look a certainty. And this is where he's got the option to plough through the bunch. It's a shot he plays very well. 31. But anything could happen here. Deserves to be on one. Ooh. 32. Wow. Yeah. He's got the green if he wants it, and the, the blue, I think, will pop from there. 
They say fortune favours the brave. It's not always the case. Now, instead of playing the green, he's going yellow. Rest shot that could be missed. I think he was unlucky after Touch the red on. to be faced Show with that shot, but I thought he maybe would have played the green there either way. There were similar shots, I suppose. So Trump has had a chance, now it's over to Barry Hawkins in this deciding frame. Well, those four reds very close together, and they don't really seem to 17. go anywhere. This is the, the shot that he missed? It was a horrible shot, actually, to be playing, but he didn't have any choice. I don't think he could pot the blue. He's very close to it. That's a good shot too. This is going right to the wire. You feel. 25 30 Goodness me. Well, I must admit, of all the shots you'd see Barry miss, that would not be one. He's such a solid ball striker that that I did not expect. And he is kicking himself. He was stretching, maybe. That's all I can put it down to. But Judd Trump has missed as well. Well... They wouldn't be human if there weren't butterflies out there as well in a decider. Yeah, Judd stayed at the table for a long time there. Barry was actually walking into the shot and Judd was still standing there. He couldn't believe he missed it. No, especially coming after the Hawkins miss, that's the point. And you saw Hawkins there, he couldn't believe it either. Pursed his lips there, couldn't quite believe he was coming back immediately. But he's back what? in. He's been the stronger of the two Hawkins since the interval. That is apparent purely by the scoreline. He was 3-1 down and struggling with his game. He improved to 3-3 and then to go 4-3 in front. And now he's in with another chance to win it. Well. Seven. Well, uh, because he missed that, I, I would not rule out the possibility of another shot or two being missed. It's got that tense feel about it. And if he's playing on that bottom red there. Well, as we've seen, they can be missed. I mean, it is a little bit away from the cushion, not quite the point where 
They've all been staying out, but you've still got to strike these cleanly. Sixteen. We were right behind that, and he was never in doubt. He stroked it in. But the next shot is key. He's playing to an area where either red is possible, I would say. Twenty-three. Twenty-one in front. So the two reds should be enough. Just wonder if there is a further twist. Even this shot, not straightforward, playing into a blind pocket. It's awkward with him using the rest as a right-hander, as he does. I think he kicked as well, but it went in. Yeah, he's asking for the cue to be clean. It was a kick that didn't actually affect the shot. 24. It doesn't go past the brown. <laughs> He's not on the red. Trump following something extraordinary. We'll come back to the table, able to win. Well, there's your twist. 25 in it. But Hawkins, he just need, needed uh, red and colour, not on the red. Now he's got over the disappointment of that. He's got to play a good shot here. I mean, he could possibly hide the cue ball in behind the yellow and try and get the snooker down the the bolt line pushing the red past the green and that's on it would mean he kept the advantage he's got three balls he can snooker behind and as he's looking at it now it's he's worked that shot out wouldn't be that difficult to hit but it would certainly give him an advantage of the table. Well, a minute and 15 seconds looking at this, and he's no nearer to finding the shot. What he'd really liked is to put a colour safe, but I don't really think there's an option there. Maybe there's some kind Harry of a Hawkins, shot. 27. On the lines of what I was saying, and I think he's got a snoop. It won't be difficult to hit. But he knows that with everything on, whoever pots the next red could win the match. So we are right down to the wire, then the last red in the last frame of this quarter-final. Oh, the little flick. I wonder if he's got a room to get past the brown and the blue. Well, the look on Judd's face, that's one of them horrible little swerves where you could bend round the brown and hit the blue on the way through is not nice. There is the perfect shot to play it, but it's not easy. Well, he could do with this red going in. It has gone in. Wow, what a fluke. Well, you ask for twists, there's another one. Hawkins is out of his seat. Ready to come to the table, ready to possibly win the match. And the thing is, whether he's on anything or not here, that's easy. 
and the blue I don't think goes but he should think of himself lucky that the red's gone in for now never mind anything else that's gone in virtually dead weight that's an outrageous fluke at worst just rolling behind the blue but again it doesn't strike me as a very difficult one to hit but at least that Trump what he knows that Hawkins has to hit this and put it safe. And you can never be in complete control of that. Cool. What is going to happen next in this match, in this deciding frame? Hawkins just needing the yellow. But snookered here. Can't afford to leave it on. No, not on a, a good day, he'll hit it and it'll go safe. But when, if he was out of luck, then he'd leave it unmissable. One of those. Well, he's hoping to knock ball safe, I think. He's kind of pushed the black a little awkward, but he'll be more than happy with that. He doesn't want that one back. And I think the yellow's gone tight on the cushion, which means he has to avoid the double kiss on this shot. And he hasn't avoided the double kiss. He's got the double kiss. yellow wow wow it had a go going in didn't it well I can't believe that that is extraordinary how has that stayed out and finished where it has it's not really a usual normal reaction well it was on its way in Two. So Judd Trump needs the remaining colours. You see this again, Neil? Well, I, uh, I've never seen the, anything like that before, I don't Five. think. Five. It's as if it's, it's not meant to happen for him here. It was very unlucky. Nine. But there's still more to be done, and what he needs is to be fairly straight on this pink. Anything else, he's not much use to him. Doesn't want to be low on the pink. 14. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. <coughs> Out of Hawkins' hands, Trump needs pink and black to win a very dramatic match. 20. Well, that yellow looked in, but it stayed out. It gave Trump this chance. And Judge Trump has cleared up to win a really dramatic victory in the end. It could have gone either way. A quintessentially edgy decider. And Judge Trump is delighted. You can see what it means to him. He's in the semi-finals. And Barry Hawkins' great run has come to an end on the final black. So it's Judge Trump who will play the world number 77, Scott Donaldson, in the semi-finals tomorrow. He's finally put away Barry Hawkins by five frames to four.